Now to the coronavirus pandemic in Maryland. The state added more than 2,500 new cases in the last 24 hours, along with 37 additional deaths. But the number of people hospitalized dropped for the second straight day, and the percentage of people testing positive also went down. Now let's go to WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren with the latest developments about the pandemic in our state. Mike? Vic, let's start with where things stand in Baltimore City. In the past month, deaths are up 30%. And as of today, the city has only used one in five of the vaccine doses it has been allotted. Now, around the state today, a lot of nursing home residents got vaccinated, and we got an inside look in one nursing home in Cecil County. Very frightening. I'm 76 years old. I didn't want to die from it. Linda Latch Botcher already survived COVID-19. Still, she can't wait to get vaccinated, and it won't be long. At the nursing home where she lives, Elkton Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, 216 people got the Moderna shot Wednesday. It's a wicked disease. You don't want to have to have it if you can avoid it. One, two, three. They invited WJZ to watch their first vaccination clinic, which they were able to do with the help of a local hospital and the Cecil County Health Department. From March until November, we had no COVID cases in the facility. We were one of the last facilities to get COVID. And when we got it on November 2nd, we really got hit hard. And so our families haven't seen their loved ones since March. Our residents, of course, miss their families. The announcement that a more contagious strain of COVID-19 has now reached Maryland is fueling a race to quickly vaccinate as many people as possible. That strain was first found in the UK. Maryland's first two cases are a couple from Anne Arundel County. The county's health officer noted the strain is not more deadly, just easier to catch. It hasn't been shown to cause more severe illness or increase risk of death. And importantly, there's no evidence that current vaccines are less effective on this strain than the regular strain. Now, we know Anne Arundel County had been at the center of controversy over its restrictions. Today, the county executive said that those restrictions will be staying the same. However, he is relaxing a few things. Uh, some limited sports practices are going to be allowed, and he's going to allow restaurants to have single dome bubbles over outdoor tables. Reporting live in Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Michael, thank you. Governor Hogan will hold a news conference tomorrow to update all of us on the state's vaccination plan. WJZ will bring it to you live tomorrow at 5 p.m.